hey guys welcome to my channel um i know this video is way way overdue i have been so busy plus i recorded it and i didn't like the way it came out so i had to wait and just yeah you know how it is uh so yeah just keep on watching guys um make sure you follow me on my social media instagram and snapchat so let's get into it so there's me i'm bald <laughs> so you know guys you have to have your uh, corners on you don't have to but it's better when you have your corners on so your wig actually lies flat and nice and here i'm actually wearing a brown blonde cap wig cap uh, this is because my scalp is way um pale than my skin tone on my face um yeah and that's my beautiful wig that i love that's actually it's natural color and form there's no any product on the wig at the moment like nothing i just shampooed it and conditioned it and that's its natural state so you just make sure you strap your wig at the back so it doesn't fall off <laughs> yeah Here I'm just making sure that my wig is nicely adjusted uh, so you make sure your hairline of your wig and your actual hairline actually blend in or kind of marry each other you know what I mean yeah so actually you can see that I wanted my um, my wig cap more closer to my hairline and it actually keeps sliding at the back which is so annoying anywho let's just see how this goes um yeah maybe i should have put the glue before i don't know anyway let's just see okay so now we're gonna use the super glue it's actually not a super glue it's a gel that holds really good um and this is by schwarzkopf yeah schwarzkopf yeah, it's actually the same glue as I've seen a lot of um, YouTubers use go-to glue. So this is our, like our uh, Australian version of it. Yeah, it's exactly the same. If you live in Australia, you can find this glue in um, Pass Line. So I was just using the glue, putting the glue around my hairline and a little bit on top of the cap so that it does not slide back um, and then just get your wig and then just glue it on the um, on the gel so it can actually stick and that's pretty much what I'm doing um, yeah so it's a great idea to actually wait for the glue to get a bit tacky before you actually glue the hair on but with this glue actually i found it a bit it dries very quickly and i keep adding on glue and glue and it looks like a bit too much um yeah and then just put a bandana on uh so that the hair can actually lie flat uh onto the glue the gel you know for like 10 minutes and now the bandana is off as you can see as i said i think i put a bit too much of um the glue so it's a bit whitish but yeah you know you learn from your mistake and next time i know not to put too much so yeah so now let's get into creating the baby hairs so if you actually watched my previous video not previous video the video of this hair i did unboxing video for this hair i will link it down below or oh, i'll put a card for the video uh so as you if you watch the video you can actually see that i mentioned the so I showed you guys and I mentioned how the wig actually didn't come with a lot of baby hairs. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm actually getting a little bit of hair at the front and create my own baby hair. This just helps for the wig to look more natural. Um, so I'll link the video down. So this is pretty much what we are doing, just creating the baby hairs and it's not really that difficult. Uh, you can actually use a scissors or a razor or whatever you have just to cut the baby hairs um, yeah so just take the little hairs uh, at the front like very very front and just cut them that's pretty much it Ok 
okay so now uh, we're gonna use the eco style gel to actually light the baby hair down um <laughs> so i've seen a lot of videos where um or youtubers do they actually overdo the baby hairs to me that's not my style each each to their own um i don't like a lot of hair baby hairs on like just gel down on my forehead that's just me you can do whatever you want whatever suits you whatever feel feel like that's your style then go ahead um even here i feel like i'm kind of doing a lot and yeah it's just not i don't feel like it looks it look natural so for me i like the way it looks on the right side um i just don't like to lay my um baby hairs on my forehead it's just like actually not what I was going for it kind of looks a bit too much for my liking that baby hair right there I am not feeling that at all like um, but you know what sometimes things goes the way you didn't plan and that's fine I'm gonna work with it I'll try to work with that I'm not gonna undo it again and you know I've got my makeup on so yeah using the Schwarzkopf um, hair styling push-up volume mousse um, so this actually just helped my hair to look extra smooth um, shiny and actually hold up my curls um, yeah that's just what I'm applying um, and then I'll use water later on yep. look at that look at the result I love this mousse it's beautiful it's so good and it's not sticky I've used some sticky ones but this one is pretty good and I think that's the end result guys I'm feeling this hair just let me feel myself I love it and this is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and this is just a sneak peek of what next video is gonna be on I'm just going to do a few styles on how to slay your frontal.